Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jam's back with another video for you guys, and I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in to my reaction on Wednesday. Not in the space, distorted. That was a fantastic reaction. We don't really do a lot of post hardcore videos on this channel, so that was a nice way of changing up a little bit there. And of course, guys, I'm not going to get overly creative with this video today. I'm just going to be doing another tier list. Of course, the writing of the EP and the pre-production and all that fun stuff like the bass, the guitars, the vocals, and all that fun stuff is taking up a lot of headspace as well as my 40 an hour week job that I fortunately have to go to. But it's also helping me buy stuff such as this mic and this new phone that you guys are viewing this video through. And I got a Galaxy S20, so you guys are seeing my first video with that, and as well as my new Samson, uh, I think it's Q2U podcast mic as well, so I'm pretty stoked about that, guys. If you guys like what's going on with this channel, you like stuff that's rock and metal based, then feel free to hit that like button right now. Also, feel free to subscribe as well and hit that notification bell so you guys know when I'm uploading videos just like this, and the, the type of tier list that I'm going to be doing today is one that's just about music genres, basically. Nothing too fancy. There's going to be a shit ton of music genres on this list. So let's get right into it, guys. It's going to be very, very basic. All right, everybody. So like I said, we're going to be doing a bunch of different music genres. As you can see here, there is a lot. So we should get started really soon here. But I'm just going to take you through the rankings. Superior, we have A, B, C, D, F, and then what the hell, just in case if I haven't heard of it, I'm sure I haven't heard of every music genre that's on here. As you guys can see, there's a lot. So let's get to it. Abstract hip hop. Um, I don't even know what that means. I'm just going to go with what the hell. Afrobeat, I guess like Ginger Baker from Bream kind of used to implement this style into his playing. So it's really hard to say as a genre otherwise. So I'm just going to go with what the hell. Alternative dance. What the fuck is that? Alternative metal. I believe is kind of like disturbed. I, I like shit like that, like system of a down, maybe even breaking Benjamin. Hey, one could argue if they're even metal. Um, I mean, just based off of that, my little bit of knowledge that I have of that, I'm going to give it a B. And then we have alternative rock, which I would consider kind of like three days, grace shine down. I believe that kind of stuff. Um, maybe even mud vein. If you want to even go into that route, after their new metal era, of course, like their happy era. Uh, I would give it an A. I love that genre of music. Uh, Baroque pop? Is that kind of like French pop? I, I I don't know who plays that type of music. Berlin school? I guess like German school music? I don't know. Okay, here's one I'm familiar with. Black metal. Definitely not a fan of this one. Um, But I won't put it in F because uh, Clear of Filth is considered black metal. And I do get into their stuff. They're pretty damn good. But as a whole, I would say probably F. So, you know, at Cradle of Filth, you can't save them that much. But Cradle of Filth is a really good band. Blues Rock, um, Robert Johnson, B.B. King kind of stuff. I mean, I implement that into my guitar playing quite a bit, even into my vocals a little bit. I like to say I have a little bit of that rasp in there. Um, But it's not a genre that I listen to, like, all the time, but I appreciate it. So we're going to give it a C. Classical music. Like Mozart, Bach, and uh, yeah, those are the ones I can remember off the top of my head right now. Pretty fucking fantastic genre. Not that I tune in all the time, but I can say it definitely has influenced my guitar playing mostly. Death metal, um, definitely not a genre that I'm super into. I think Cannibal Corpse and bands like Death are talented instrumentally. I think it takes a lot of like prowess and a lot of practice and training to do the growls and stuff so i respect that aspect but as a listener like it's just not something i can get into so i'll give it honestly a d it's better than black metal so let's put it in d free jazz i guess like free jazz would get like a c for me it's an okay genre i couldn't tell you really anybody who plays jazz but jazz examples have been thrown at me in my lifetime and i can enjoy it to a certain degree funk um okay is this like stevie wonder kind of stuff i guess um, I would give it a C. Solid genre, not a genre that I'm going to listen to every day, but I can appreciate stuff like the bass mostly and the rhythm to it. And the vocals are kind of cool. Glam rock. Okay, this is one I know well. You know, we got like Poison, Skid Row, Motley Crue, which is one of my favorite bands of all time. <sighs> I could go on. Uh, Twisted Sister, 
I, I think you could even consider uh, maybe Guns N' Roses controversially in there, Quiet Riot, maybe Cinderella, Def Leppard even, maybe. Uh, but yeah, uh, that definitely goes into Superior for me. I love that genre of music. You're going in there. Grindcore, fucking cannot stand. Sounds like noise. F. Groove metal. Okay. Okay. That, that's like, I guess, like Pantera or like Lamb of God kind of stuff. Maybe even Devil Driver. I think they'd be considered that genre. I'll give it a, give it a B. It, it's, it's, it, ooh, not up there. I do like Lamb of God a lot. So I think that definitely helps a lot. Oh, Grunge. This is one I know a lot. Like Santa Garden, Nirvana, Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam. Stone Temple Pilots, those are the bands I know the best out of that genre, and they are all fantastic bands. Um, where would I put grunge? Not in F, no. Some people might say that, though, and that's fine if you think that. I'm not going to put it, I'm going to give it a good old A. One of my more favorite genres. Hard rock, okay, What? what is just, what's the difference between, like, hard rock and alternative rock? I mean, hard rock, I guess, is like Led Zeppelin, but you could call that classical rock, but we're past classical so yeah if we're gonna throw like led zeppelin and like mountain in there and like aerosmith and like kiss in there i guess like that would get an a for me actually no superior for me hardcore punk definitely have listened to it i've seen bands live there's actually a decent hardcore punk scene where i'm from at in central pa at least like 10 years ago there was i respect it i respect the attitude uh but it's not really my type of music, so I put it in D. Heavy metal, okay. Like, uh, well, we're past classical metal because this is obviously in alphabetical order. So we're gonna throw up, like bands like Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, and probably I wouldn't say like Saxon in there. And like, it's another classic metal band. Uh, Diamond Head, Motorhead, possibly even there. Heavy metal is great. Uh, that gets an A for me. Industrial metal, I can't. Get, I guess that's like Nine Inch Nails, Mail and Manson kind of stuff. Uh, eh, C for me. Not one of my favorites, but I can appreciate it. Industrial rock. Like, I mean, I guess go in the C because I don't, I don't, you know, it's hard to understand which, you know, like does Ramstein go into metal or industrial rock? Does Nine Inch Nails go into industrial rock or industrial metal? Same thing with Manson. So I don't really know. So I'm just going to put them in the same category or the same ranking oh but then we have math core which i think is more dillinger skate the plan um so put that in c not sure about math rock then metal core okay this is one i'm very very familiar with as like dying is a band that comes to mind kills which engage august burns red asking Alexandra, the early stuff anyway um bring me to rise in the early stuff i could really just honestly go on have mice and men uh Fucking hell, who who else? Uh, Icy Stars, I guess you could throw them in there even too. Uh, Orly, Al, that remains. I guess you could throw in there. Uh, definitely A for me. A uh, big influential genre for me. So neoclassical. It's not really a genre I necessarily listen to, but I play along to backing tracks. As actually, I have one on the channel. If you guys want to go check that out at some point, and I give it. It's fantastic i'll put it in b just because i don't really know any pieces like like you know what i mean i just don't know enough about it new wave new wave i think it's like uh fuck i don't even know any bands in new wave um off the top of my head um i just know like songs like spin me round 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 you know like that shit like that that's good enough that, that goes in the b no wave. what the fuck is that new metal okay we got like System of a Down, I guess. I kind of threw them into a genre earlier, alternative metal, but I guess you could kind of throw them in there too. Early Mudvayne, of course. Uh, Slipknot gets thrown in there. Corn gets thrown in there. Paul Chamber gets thrown in there. And those bands are all pretty good. Slipknot's one of my favorite bands of all time. If you guys know my channel well, you guys know that, you know, I might like Slipknot like maybe a little bit. That gets superior for me. I mean, to be honest, just because of Slipknot. Pop rock. Okay. Um, is that like that was Weezer? I think that's Weezer's picture, actually. It depends on what you classify it as. But if if we're going off of Weezer, um, give it a C. They have some jams. Post grunge. Okay, that's like I think like stained and like Three Days Grace. Even though I threw Three Days Grace in the alternative rock genre earlier, but if we're basing it off of them, and you're like Creed, yes, Creed. Um, I'll give it a C. 
I do enjoy a bit of those bands that I just mentioned. Post hardcore, I mentioned that in the intro, and you got bands like Chiodos, I guess you could throw in there as that. Uh, early Skit to Fate gets thrown into that too. Uh, Census Fail, I know they're kind of more of an emo band. We we don't have emo as a genre on here. We have all these genres, but I haven't seen emo come up at all. Oh, it's actually at the bottom. Okay, good to know. Um, but Pars Hardcore, from what I can remember, I don't remember every single band off the top of my head that I listen to. I'll give it a C. Post industrial, no idea. Post metal, what? 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 After metal, it, it 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 just goes on. It's a continuum. What the fuck? Prog metal. Okay, prog metal. Okay, finally, we got prog rock and prog metal. So it just all depends on what your perspective is. Prog rock, I guess, would be like Rush. I guess, for one example, prog metal, I guess, would be like Dream Theater. Or like periphery. Uh so you know, if we're going with Rush for Prog Rock, I'll give them a B. Not that I know a ton of Rush, but what I've heard of Rush, yes, I'll go listen to more Rush eventually in my lifetime. I will. I promise you guys. It's really, really fucking good. And uh prog metal, of course, I just mentioned, uh like periphery and dream theater. Uh really talented bands, but I can't get super into them. I'm just not a super technical kind of guy when it comes to music. Like I just like listening to music more for the feel and the substance but nothing wrong with prog metal i appreciate the talent it takes to play it i guess you could throw a macedon in there too uh but it gets c psychedelic rock i guess you could throw like cream in there uh who else uh maybe even some beatles uh like the yellow submarine era of the beatles i'm trying to think of other bands uh spirit in the sky like that's a song uh i don't remember the name of the band um uh, but if we're just going off of those few things maybe even Jimi hendrix we dare throw him in there i'll give it a c got a lot of c's and we got a lot of what the hell so far punk rock okay just straight up punk rock this is something i know a decent amount about like the sex pistols ramones i guess you could throw those bands in there and if we're gonna just base it off of those few bands there's of course a lot of bands i've listened to i just can't remember off the top of my head is Green Day punk rock or are they pop punk? I would consider them pop punk. But anyway, um, C for me for that one. R and B, okay. Um, Usher, we got a picture of Michael Jackson here. Uh, R Kelly, R and B. Uh, from what I've heard of it, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll put it in B. Yeah, there. Do I do that? Reggae. Um, don't know much about it other than like Bob Marley and Bob Marley and channel from san andreas that's about it so we get that one to see it has a nice sound to it i just don't listen to it that often rock in opposition isn't all rock pretty much in opposition of something defiant of something okay i don't know shoe gaze gazing at shoes now ska punk i don't know any bands off the top of my head yes i do rancid again it's one of those genres that i've heard a decent amount of especially in my area and but i never got into it like that but i'll give it a d it's solid soul tina turner the temptations aretha franklin not big on them not super familiar but those powerhouse voices do we do we dare throw adele in there too i'll give it a c tech death okay tech death i'll give a a d Techno, I'll give a C. Thrash Metal, okay, this is one I know more about. Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, Anthrax, Testament, Exodus are a few to mention. And I'm a really big Metallica fan, personally, more so of their Thrash era. So, oh, this definitely goes into either A or Superior. Uh, ooh, A, A, do I dare do so? We got NWA and West Coast Hip Hop. Not going to repeat what that acronym, acronym uh, is. Um, uh, Give it a C. Indie Rock. We got like Lovely the Band. We got The Killers. Almost blank on their name completely. Uh, just based off of those two, we'll give it a B. Oh, like Modest Mouse too. Gothic Country. Gothic Rock. Okay, Gothic Rock. That's like him correct if if i'm not mistaken uh stuff like that don't know much about it but what i've heard of it it's pretty good pop punk 
Okay, so this is one I know a little bit about. Uh, I'll throw Green Day in there. I'll throw some 41 in there. Knuckle Puck in there. Uh, what's another one that's really good? Oh, fuck. I know more. I know more, guys. This is killing me that I don't know more off the top of my head. But, uh, I'll put Pom Punk in B. Now we got Emo, since that's another one I know. Of course, Senses Fail. Hawthorne Heights. Uh, From First to Last is another really, really good example. I'm trying to think of more that I know. I know there's more I know. But emo um, is a pretty good one for me. Taking Back Sunday is another good one. Uh, I'll put them in B. Dubstep. Dubstep, I'll give a, I'll give a D. Just never really got into it, but eh, whatever. It's there. Country, F. I cannot get into country. Except for like Willie Nelson and some Johnny Cash. If you consider Johnny Cash country. Pretty really cool stuff from them. But other than that, the trash. So I realize that there's no just straight up pop genre on here, but there's different subgenres. So we'll use art pop just to cover pop. And because I'm a big pop fan, I want this to be on here. So I'll give pop honestly an A to tell you the fucking truth. If you throw Lady Gaga in there, like that's my shit right there. I love her. Katy Perry. Uh, some Taylor Swift is pretty damn good too from what I've heard. And uh, yeah, there's just there's just countless ones like uh, Justin Bieber. I really actually like his new stuff. Yes, judge me. I do like some new Justin Bieber. So the rest of these guys down here, I really don't know anything. There's like 20 million more. And I don't feel like just discussing what I don't know. So we'll leave it at that, guys. This is my list right here. What is your list? I really want to hear from you guys what your list is as well. I'm sure you guys have all kinds of fun answers. I'm sure you hate mine. I'm sure some will agree exactly with mine. We all have different perspectives, so there's no right or wrong at the end of the day, guys. Music is great. It's a universal language. It brings us together. Shouldn't separate us ever, guys. So if you guys like this type of video, let me know by telling me in the comment section down below. Of course, by liking this video as well. It would be really, really appreciated, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Jay Adams, out.